Ghastly coming in. Oh man, wow! Hello everybody, welcome. Bubble here and we're back for another game of Pokemon Unite. This time, we're going to be using the new Venusaur build. Well, maybe not the new one, but the new buffed one. As you guys may know, Solar Beam Sludge Bomb recently got buffed in the last patch. And the Petal, Dr Petal Dance and uh, Giga Drain actually got nerfed. Well, Giga Drain was nerfed two patches ago, Petal Dance now this one. Still definitely viable, probably still the best option. But we're going to see if Solar Beam is still worth using where it's viable. It already has a bunch of still potential in normal games before the buff. But now the cooldown reduction on Solar Beam and the Sludge Bomb increase in range, I feel like it could be really good on keeping people out and sniping objectives. So we'll see how we could do this time. Loading to a match here. We're against a pretty scary team and Gengar, so that kind of negates it a little bit. Let's see what lane we're going. I didn't get to call him before this match started. Let's just try to go top. Okay, we're able to go top with Pikachu. Interesting lane. We're both kind of long range, especially since I'm going the Solar Beam build. So it's not, it's not, it's not a great lane. If I was going to pedal dance, it'd be a little bit better. I kind of messed this stuff up by not using my Razor Leaf optimally here, but we're going to ignore that fact a little bit. Let's see how things go. Oh, our Pikachu's actually going up. So I see our Pikachu is actually in Ultra Rank. I'm mean, not Ultra Rank. I think he was Veteran Rank. So I don't think they they were supposed to fix matchmaking in those most recent patches. Well, but. You know, that doesn't always happen. It's going to be really hard to fix the matchmaking in this game. But hey, they're trying at least, which is nice. At least they see our complaints and they're going for it. Okay, but we are getting a jump. Let's see if we can save Pikachu here. I have a eject button, so I should be able to get out. There we go. Just go ahead and burn it. Let it recharge. Pikachu, please go get that berry. <laughs> okay. Okay, not bad. At least he didn't die off that encounter. We're going to try to take this top... Uh, Corefish? Yeah, let's take this top Corefish before the bear spawn. Ooh, it spawned a lot faster than I thought they would. Alright, here we go. Sometimes 10 seconds just goes way faster than you think. Should be able to get most of these. Alright, we got most of the bears. Sylveon's already evolved. Very scary. If we could kill him, though, that'd be really nice here. Oh, nope, they got Ghastly coming in. Oh, man, wow. Got Lick sucks you in and they just tore me apart. Wait, they have their teeny top lane too? There's four top? <laughs> Wait, what? What is this meta? They must be fighting over jungle. I was confused why Ghastly was only level four, but I guess that explains it. Aw, oh, dang, mess up the timing. So they have two junglers, two top. Are they going one bottom? The two, two, one meta? That's that's new. I guess it's working out for them. Dang, we're getting destroyed. They're not even winning the bottom path, unfortunately. Wait, do we have Slowbro Center? No, Zero Row. Okay. okay, we get our first move of the set, though. Slowbro. Ooh, that range did get quite a bit longer, actually. This seems really nice. Just kind of snipe them from their base. Poison them. It just eats away at their health. Okay, we got support in our top lane. Our team actually came to help. That's kind of nice. It's rare to happen sometimes. Oh, we went back in the Sludge Bomb. Yeah, we could just hard snipe them from far away. I didn't remember Sludge Bomb, uh, what's it called, cooldown being that low. That's pretty nice, though. Retreat. Yeah. Yes, Pikachu. We get it. Let's see. We got their top zone destroyed. So let's destroy... We can kill these bees and then go down bottom. Not bees. Bears. Been making that mistake a lot. Same thing with Articuno Zapdos. Okay, we got our solar beam this time. Alright, we got our full build. We're just waiting to evolve now. Hopefully Pikachu can handle it up there, and we'll be rotating down to Dreadnought. Keep the pressure on. Yes, sir, Pikachu. Oh, they swept up down here. We should be able to take it easy. Should be a pretty free Dreadnought. Normally, I like taking that goal zone before getting it, but I don't think we have enough points to do that. Easy Dreadnought kill. Now we can hopefully rotate up. Let's see how things are going. Someone's going to get it before we even get there, so might as well... Oh, they already destroyed the goal zone. Alright. We can go try help then. They're actually leaving it. Let's get up there as fast as we can. At the very least, we might be able to get the last hit and snipe it. Oh, Ghastly is shredding it. Never mind. Just barely. Okay. At least take out the war turtle. There we go. I felt like he wasn't even in that circle or straight line, but we'll take it. Oh, and our build today, we're going in Buddy Barrier choice 
And then the two glasses, the two special attack glasses. We're just trying to get as much damage as we can on this solar beam. Uh, normally I'd go focus ban on Venusaur, but since we're not going pedal dance, our whole goal is to kind of stay away from the enemy. So I don't think we're going to be in much danger. And buddy barrier, just because in solo queue, it's so nice to win team fights with just giving yourself a shield and someone else. It's almost a must have on any team comp. I guess we just have to grind up for now. Not too much going on. I think we're in a slight lead right now. I don't think it's a huge lead, but we're doing good. Okay, just in case he teleports over there. Oh, he ulted to get away. Bold. Oh, he's ulting back in. Okay, I didn't realize that or else I would have uh, saved that solar beam. I don't know why he went back in. There's three of us there and a slow bro. Ooh, okay, let's just snipe in there. Trina should land there. Right into Trina's still scary. Trina's, she got nerfed. Her healing, I think, is a little bit less. She's still a very scary mon to go against. Oh, yeah, they had Buddy Barrier. There's nothing we could do there. Got a bolt. Peace. Rapid Skin Blastoise. No, very underrated. I personally love uh, Rapid Skin Blastoise. I think it's really good for just disrupting the fight. It's like what a defender should do. It's like... How you could actually play... You could distract another team. It's really good for solo queue when everyone starts focusing you and you just shred the team as the carries. But they're all distracted. Wow, is Trina to sweep up over there? Nice, we got a pretty good team this time around. Rotom spawn. We got both Dreadnoughts. They got Rotom last time, but we should be able to get it. Whole t Almost our whole team's coming up there. I guess we could pick up the bears too. We got our ult standing by. Dragonite's just gonna try to tank it. Okay, if he just lowers it and then we just kill it with the solar beam, that might be ideal for us. Wow, I got shredded so fast I didn't even have a chance. We're just gonna ult to, you know, use it and then keep going, push this forward. I probably should have saved it till we moved up a little bit, but might as well. Wow, the slow bore Venus are so good. He just picks up and I can't miss Solar Beam. And it does such a good chunk of damage. This build's feeling kind of nice right now. Like, viable nice. Maybe not as Pedal Dance Giga Drain. I won't be sweeping the whole team with this build. But it's feeling a lot better. Just being able to spam Solar Beam a little bit more. But we did get pretty team wiped here. Besides Trina, who's just kind of scoring. Maybe she has attack weight. Alright. Let's see. Slowbro scared their team off, so now we can grind up a little bit. I did not mean to auto-walk onto two different ones, but we can make this work. There we go. Actually, that's kind of optimal. Let's see. Alright. Last red not spawning. Gengar's chilling up there for some reason. Slowbro and Pikachu should be able to handle them, no problem. They're actually pretty good. Yeah, let me know if you guys see any difference with the matchmaking. Because this game, I did get matched with some Ultra players and some Veteran players in my Master Rank. But, like, they're pretty decent, it feels like. So, I don't know what they did, but it feels a little bit better than before. But nothing, no huge changes. Have you guys seen any changes in your gameplay? Or your teammates? So it's been off now on for me, like usual. Oh, let's try to save a few of our teammates there. They're getting a little jumped. Oh, no, slow bro. Run, run, run. Put down the slow and snipe him. Oh, if we heal Gengar right here, that'd be huge. One more second. Maybe he's just so far. Nope, okay. We try to get the blind snipe, but he's underground. I think he's invincible when he does that. Ah, okay. Maybe the matchmaking is not better. Step back, please. They all have buddy barrier. Fine, let's just all, I'll give you guys a buddy barrier. Let's just wipe out a few of them here. Um, if you want to kill it now? I mean, they're not around, but it's such an easy steal for them. Yeah, just bait out Tarina. Oh, that's huge. They all took the bait. Blastoise, and this is a free Articuno kill for us. But if Artic I mean, if Blastoise has his ult, this could be a little scary. No, that's a GG here. 
Alright, there we go. Easy game for us, actually. It went really smoothly. I was kind of scared when Zero Aura started hitting Articuno, but he had it in him to, like, stop hitting it. Which is nice. No, I don't think I can make it. Let me score my points. Yes, just in time. One HP left. We're going to die because they did negate the healing of scoring goals by a lot. But we were able to score 100 points, and it looks like our teammates are going to all score as well. That pretty much wraps up the game. I don't think they can make a comeback from here unless they pull something like incredible plays. Yeah, if they're already score this, they'll wrap it up. They should be able to score before they spawn. I don't know where their other team is. Ah, Trina's scoring 100. Let's see if Slowbro could get down there in time. Yeah, okay. She doesn't have a score shield. That makes it a little easier. I have two teammates going bottom. I know that's where the enemies are, but I'm going to go top just in case the... There's one more alive. Well, the whole team's alive now, but... It's got to be somewhere. It's probably hiding around here. It's always good to split up because I definitely lost games from all five of your teammates going straight down to one goal zone and someone sneaking around and scoring 100 points at the last minute. It can get real messy like that. All right, let's see then score. And oh yeah, it wasn't even close. I only scored 189 points to 616. That's pretty good. Let's see how our damage went this time. I don't think we played perfectly this round by any means, but we did. I mean, our whole team did pretty good. Well, four kills, 51k. I mean, definitely could have done a lot better. Should have hit a couple more solar beams. But I feel like this moveset's really good on Venusaur right now. They're both viable, definitely. I would say you could use either of them. And just depending on the team composition, if you have some up close, I'd like if you're with an all-arounder, I'd say go solar beam. Why not give it a shot and see how it goes? But that'll be it for this video. Let me know how you think about Venusaur or the matchmaking changes. Tell me what build you prefer. And I'll see you all next time. Bubble out.